Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing how pension income affects Social Security benefits. Yeah, uh, good one. Good one. Um, <laughs> currently, Michelle, you need uh, 10 years, uh, a total of 10 years paying into Social Security taxes to receive your Social Security benefits at retirement, right? Right. But a common question I get is if I get a, or if I receive a pension from where I work at, do I get both? And the answer, it depends if the pension's a government pension or private pension and if your employer withheld Social Security taxes. Okay. So, um, Think about this. If you, you or your spouse worked for the government and no Social Security taxes were withheld, your mm -hmm. Social Security benefits or your benefits on your spouse may be reduced. And there's two main scenarios where this comes into play. It's called the first one's the windfall elimination provision or what we call WEP and the government off pension offset or the GPO. Woo, that is a mouthful. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Not your fault. Not your fault. So before we dive into these two scenarios, if you like the content of this video, please help us grow this channel. Let us know that you like the content we're producing. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, we're going to, Brian's going to, we're going to be going through some, uh, obviously some of this information and we'll be providing links. You can find them below the video yes. in this description. So you want to watch this to the end and then go check those out. Okay, Brian. Let's talk about these two scenarios, the windfall elimination provision and the government pension offset. So let's start with this. What's the difference? Okay. Let's start with the windfall elimination provision or WEP. Okay. For short. Okay. Okay. This is if you've worked for both, at least one employer that did withhold social security taxes and at least one employer that didn't withhold social security taxes that offers a pension. Okay. okay. All right. If you receive both a pension and Social Security benefits, your benefits, Social Security benefits, could be reduced by up to 50% of your pension amount. You've got to know that. All right. Um, so this reduces the worker's benefit. So okay. this is what the difference is. This is based on you as the worker worked at two different places. Okay. okay. Make sure you check out the windfall elimination provision guide and the windfall elimination calculator that we're going to put below this video. So. Yeah, do that. All right. So let me ask you this. Are there any exceptions to the w WEP, right? Reducing yeah. your benefits. Yeah, there's a few uh, exceptions, of, of course, right? Um, <laughs> you may have your they benefits. don't make it easy, do they? <laughs> <laughs> No, they don't. Sorry. Um, you may have your benefits reduced if you paid into 30 years of Social Security taxes. Remember, okay. you need a minimum of 10, but if you did all 30, right. you're exempt. Okay. Um, also, if you were hired by the government after December 31st, 1983, this is a new guideline. All right. Um, how about if the only pension you receive is from a railroad? Huh. Different. Um, if you're a military reservist, receiving a reservist pension, or if you're a minister receiving a ministry pension. Okay. All right. Oh boy. All right. So let's shift gears and let's talk about the government pension offset. How is that different? Okay. The government pension offset or the GPO could reduce your benefits. If you work a job that didn't mm -hmm. withhold social security taxes from your pay okay. and you claim your spouse or former spouse's social security benefits. Okay? okay. So this, this is, again, this ain't about the worker. This is about the claiming on your spouse or former spouse's benefits. All right. There's the dip. There's the big difference. Okay. Worker and spouse or ex-spouse. Okay. So the GPO could receive result in you not receiving any benefits at all on your spouse or former spouse. Okay. Okay. This is going to reduce the benefit of a spouse or former spouse who claims spousal benefits. And again, make sure you check out the pension offset guide, the government pension offset guide below the video and the government pension offset calculator. We're going to put both them links right below this video. Okay. So this is pretty complex stuff. It really is. Um, and how does someone navigate all of this? Do they need help or is this, I mean, yeah. we're providing the links below, right? But like, yeah. Do you need a PhD in government speak or lawyer speak or IRS speak? To, to yeah. 
this gets complicated. These are very complicated cases. Okay. It should be handled with the Social Security Administration. Okay. And below the video, we're putting their direct number to schedule an appointment. Um, and then also on their website is a most frequently asked question section that has a lot of different answers that may help you in this because you need to know which one you qualify for and how to use it properly. So you need to truly go right to um, the Social Security Administration to work on this. So Awesome. Okay. Super informative video. Thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate it. If you liked the content of today's video, even if you, <laughs> if your brain is scrambled like mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault. Go I'm trying to do it. It's <laughs> simple. <laughs> no, you did. You, I've, I've checked all this stuff out on the Social Security site. It's, it's not, it's not that easy. Uh, so go ahead and like that this video and do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another, miss another video from us. I appreciate all of you do, Brian, uh, for bringing this, this information. And thanks to everybody who watched. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.